Cool, hiya, John and Jack here from Peach Guitars. Today we're looking at a new pedal from Keeley. This is called the Aria pedal. So it's a two channel pedal. So it's kind of two, two pedals in one. We've got a Keeley compressor and a drive in there as well. Both independent, you can run them both at the same time. And you've also got a switch on there so you can change the order. So compressor first or overdrive first. Um, the compressor side, I guess, is based around on the Compressor Plus, wasn't it? Is that yeah, I think what you said. Probably it was them cool. at least. Yeah, so you've got the traditional level blend, so you can blend in the clean. That's signal. really useful. Yeah, definitely on compressors for me. Yeah, that's got to be done. And plus sustain, which is your actual compression level, tone control as well there for the compressor, and then a basic kind of um, a three knob setup, traditional setup that you would normally see on you know overdrive pedals like Tube Screamers and you know standard old fashioned distortion type pedals. It's uh, got two modes on that drive channel. Uh, do you want to explain a little bit more about that, Jack? Yeah, so Keeley, um, in, in a couple of their videos, have, have noted that it's sort of based on their red dirt overdrive. That's where it gets its um, DNA from. So the low mode is quite a natural, flat response kind of sounding drive. And then the high, I think, boosts, boosts the mids up like a yeah. tube screamer typically would. So we can hear, we can hear the, uh, here's the dry signal. So what, at, at, the, at the start, we were using the compressor and we were actually using the Keeley uh, mag echo as well on a slap back a slap, as well yeah, yeah. and I did switch in the drive just a little bit there at the end yeah we're just playing but, through um, a few yeah, sounds yeah I wanted to um, use two different setups today so Jack's going to play with the telly through this Dr Z Carmen gear <coughs> and I've got a, uh, an exotic uh, XSC2 that I'm going through a Fender amp I want to use two different think... guitars with two like kind of completely different rigs yeah. and um, just quickly touching on the telly sound through the, the Carmen gear I've been lucky enough to go to Nashville a few times and I've been to see some great guitar players and stuff down, down Broadway. And that is the amp that you always see, a Dr. Z either, uh, you know, like a Maserati, a Karma Gear, a Stingray, something like that. Yeah. And they always have on their pedal boards uh, a Keeley compressor and then it used to be the, like the, uh, was it a baked mod? Uh, tube screaming. Yeah, some do. kind of green coloured pedal. A green Keeley, Keeley Overdrive yeah. uh, pedal on there as well. So. I thought in the uh, in the spirit of that, we're trying to achieve some of those tones. So yeah, go on, far yeah, away, Jack. Good. I'm talking about you. So here's the dry tone just through the Dr. Z at the moment. So I guess the cool thing with this uh, compressor as well, because you've got that blend control, you can kind of use it as, as a pure lead boost yeah. as well. So that's, why don't we just set it up just as a, with a mild bit of compression. I've got the blend at halfway and the sustain is at about 10 o'clock. So just okay. go the bypass signal again. And now let's just add a little bit of extra thickness and sustain. Like that. Tightens nice. everything up a little bit, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it stays out of the way of your attack as well, which is nice. And you can't immediately hear, yeah, it stays out of the way of the attack. You can't immediately hear that sort of like the compression sucking the squish. it. squish. I know when we was, at, I was messing around with it early, you can still go pretty wild with it and get some of those uh, blood sugar sex magic era for shanty tones, mm. which is, you know, pretty uh, pretty wild uh, compressed sounds. Which you're going to hear with the strap. Yeah. Sure. What I do is if I, if I roll the, uh, the blend down this time, and the sustain, but I'm going to push the uh, the level up. So we're just getting a, a smaller amount of compression, but we we're using it a little bit more as a lead boost to just push the front of the amp. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, it's just fat, isn't it? Yeah, it's just hitting the hitting the front end of the amp pretty pretty hard. But that's sort of sort of. I guess you could leave that on all the time if you wanted to, as your kind of, uh, you know, your uh, uh, your your kind of your bass rhythm tone or your bass kind of single note kind of lead. Sort yeah, of you've got a bit of well. option to EQ it as well with that tone control. Yeah. Why don't, why don't we go super country? Let's go super country. We're going to whack that sustain up and a bit more of the blend. Can you just give us the bypass? <laughs> Mag Echo on now for some slap back. Right, so that's 
so let's let's add a little bit of drive into that as well. I'm going to uh, leave leave the drive down pretty low on the low channel. Yep. Um, we just put the tone at halfway and the level at about half. So let's see what happens with that one. And at the moment, we're running the compressor into the overdrive right. sound. So. Yeah, it's just a fat sound. It's not colouring it too much. No, no, it's quite. You can you can hear like what a. When we watch that Robert Keeley video earlier, you can hear that he says it doesn't really push the, the mids uh, too much. It's pretty neutral sounding. Yeah. I actually prefer it on this higher gain setting because it has that kind of a bit more of a throatier sound on the mids. It does push them a bit more. Yeah. But I like it with the drive down, like, you know, rather than being a high gain, high gain sound, I like it as the more of the EQ of that channel. Yeah, that's but, not what this is trying to be, I think, is it? Nah. It's, it's just that nice kind of, if you want a natural sounding drive. So try, um, let's go over to the high channel now. So you can, you can hear, like, I'll crank the drive up so you can hear it has got quite a lot of drive. Cool. Right, so uh, what we'll do now is if we, um, just like single note stuff, Jack, I'm just gonna run that drive down a bit more level, roll the tone back a little bit, yeah. try that. <laughs> It's still not too heavily mid focused, isn't no. it? That's nice. It's just well, kind the of notes are punchy enough. and yeah. I mean, have a play around with it, Jack. You set it up kind of how you would use it on on a on a gig. Let me just uh, okay. Let's, let's go with a more um like you know a longer delay time as well, shall we? Let's try yeah. and see how, how it responds with with that. Let's well, I agree that. with you. I like the drive being a little lower on the high gain setting. So. try and thicken up the sound a little bit not too much compression yeah let's just try that kind of so it's just boosting it a little bit harder <laughs> So we've got, uh, at the moment we're running, like I said before, the compressor into the overdrive. Let's yeah. just switch this across now and see what that kind of does uh, to the overall tone. We'll leave the settings exactly where they are. If you yeah. want to carry on playing and I'll switch it sort of halfway through. Okay. I think with this one, it's more of about the um, the feel when you're playing rather than it being it is, super yeah, apparent. Yeah. It's know. probably going to smooth out the drive sound a little bit, take some yeah. of those edges off. So Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> That way, yeah. that would kind of be like how they would use it in a studio to compress yeah. down your already driven sound. Or, got, or it's a nice way to make, if you've got a super clean amp, yeah. just make the drive pedal think that you've got a bit of compression going on in the amp as well, so it doesn't have that harsh harshness yeah. you sometimes yeah. get. I mean, this, this is a nice sound in overdrive anyway, because it's quite rich, open yeah. sound. And um, when we was playing around earlier, it sounds good through the uh, different amps that we've tried it with. But I know what you mean, a lot of drive pedals can really be like an absolute bee in a jam jar, I can't lay in front of a clean yeah. amp like that. The clean amps are quite unforgiving through. sometimes. So, so um, yeah, let's go through some more. Um, yeah, I mean, you have a, you have a tweak around with it, Jack. Okay. On how you would how would you you would use it in in one of your setups? Um, for me, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head there already. But maybe we could try some higher yeah, try higher it. levels let's, with the drive. Yeah, control, let's see if so. we can get it. Um, try yeah. some more. Um, let's try a, like a a more cutting kind of driven. Uh, like ribbon type sort of sound. Yeah. Let's try that because we've, we've been pretty smooth so far, haven't we? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, and it does the high gain thing quite yeah. well as well. Right. Let's do some of your creamy, uh, creamy EJ stuff. I'm going to whack the delay on full wallop. <laughs> There's a bit well. of compression as well. Yeah, really. come on in and sweat that on as well. <laughs> Making you work hard there, Jack, with this, uh, yeah. this telly's got a huge neck on it, so... That's cool. That's right, good. so uh, why don't we switch over to the Strat now. Yeah. See how we get on with that, see what tones we can dial up. Nice. Right, okay, so I've got this nice exotic Strat style guitar here, going for a 68 Deluxe Reverb amp. You hear straight away, kind of uh, much more mid-scoop than, than what Jack was playing with the Tele mm. through the Dr. Z, but kind of, I guess a lot of people are a lot more used to this traditional kind of Fender sound. So I think, for me, I would probably set the drive channel pretty low, but on that on that higher gain setting purely because yeah. I just prefer the overall the voicing of the EQ. It gives you the mids of, back, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think like for single note stuff on Strat, uh, it really kind of bring, brings out the notes without kind of uh, you know it being too harsh or anything. So let's try it like that. So this is kind of how I would use it, and then I would probably have the compressor set fairly neutral again pretty you know a bit more kind of um on the lower end of the spectrum in terms of the the settings just to add kind of a little bit more sustain just, just sustain. when i go up the top and end do you prefer the compressor into the drive or I the think other way so. around i think yeah. so let's try it I'll put so, the compressor first yeah let's try that so this is the um, yeah the low the lower gain setting with the strap <laughs> Wait that off just to bypass sound again. Yeah, here it's just kind of thickening it up quite nicely. The what I like up. about that is it's not changing the character of no, no, no totally. Really. Yeah, you can still hear it's um, my typical um, the only tone that I can uh, use. It sounds like you. If I just put like more of an ambient type sort of delay on. Yeah, so let's try nice. that, um, that compressor on there now. So yeah. this is without, just up the top end. subtle but it kind of it's more about the feel it kind of feels like I'm playing through more of a crank damp so when it's easier doesn't it but the tone is still kind of the same it's not adding loads more yeah. gain so you still got that great strap tone with plenty of um, character and attack to it <laughs> While you're playing, John, just bring the, the blend control from completely off. And yeah. I'll just slowly bring it in okay. so you can hear the effect of that. So here's the blend completely off. It's bigger, yeah. It? Just a bigger tone, and it kind of just feels much easier to play. Put that back up. That was helping me. <laughs> so I was going to say we can swap the order now, so you yeah. hear the drive into the compressor.
Right. Let's go to crazy with some of those um, funky uh, uh, sustained sounds that I was yeah. dialing up earlier. Completely over the top, but we might as well hear the range of what yeah. it can do. If I can play it right. <laughs> So suck the life out of your guitar yeah. completely. But you the want thing it is, to. if you want that sound yeah. and that effect, but just a little less of it, yeah. you just notch back the, the yeah. blend. Yeah, play, play some nice uh, funk, funk stuff, like Nile Nile stuff. I'm sure okay. you can do that. Get your plucker. <laughs> I mean, for for a, a you know basic kind of two channel type sort of pedal, two pedal in a box unit, there's absolutely loads and loads of different sounds in that there. That your essentials for a lot of t yeah. a lot of different tones, isn't it? Yeah, I think if you're trying to put together a kind of a nice minimalistic board, I mean, this would be the sort of the sort of uh, uh, kind of setup that you would see uh, in a small like Nashville club with yeah. one of the small uh, pedal train pedal boards with a tuner, one of these little guys, and then a basic slapback echo. You're pretty much going to be able to get. And I believe, that, that you I believe this has got Keeley's kind of clever switching options in there as well. So if you want to use the two independently, if you've got some kind of loop like a, a switching rig. Yeah, you can, you can use them and place them at different points in your chain. You um, can utilize oh yeah, so them. T it's got TRS on the input, hasn't it, I think? So you I believe can, so, yeah. 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 yeah, so you can run it as two separate pedals in their own loops. No, that's cool. Cool, and all the standard stuff, you know, like, like, like you always get, but plus it's got, you know, this nice sparkly finish. Great color. Quite, quite see that, but um, there you go. Well, suggest you come in and try it out. Thanks to uh, Keely for sending this in, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Thanks, guys.